Hi, welcome to another edition of Transcribing with the Music Transcriber. Today we'll be looking at a plugin called Format Based on Pages. Now, uh, a few days ago I released a video uh, demonstrating uh, a new plugin that's not quite out yet called um, Auto Parts Preparation. Uh, it's a great way to save lots of time. It, you can format all the parts in the score in one plugin run. And it uses an algorithm uh, based on my own engraving style, so I obviously think it is um, a nice, clean design for parts. Um, but that plugin's not out yet. I was just trying to get you guys interested in the whole idea of automated part preparation. Um, but there is another plugin out called Format Based on Pages, which I originally wrote to uh, work around some of the layout problems in Sibelius, the fact that you cannot choose uh, how many pages you'd like something to be. Uh, that seems like a pretty basic uh, functionality for layout. So I wrote this plugin uh, as just a little bit of a workaround, and the best usage of it was uh, after you found a page turn to force everything before the page turn onto one page, uh, or two pages, I'm sorry. One page is already available, but two pages is not. Um, so that's the most common usage of it. Um, now, I've recently realized that it itself is a very good auto parts preparation. So I'm going to show you here how I can use format based on pages to uh, format a part very quickly. Uh, I'm in a flip part here for a uh, score that's going to be used in the studio this week actually. Um, what I'm going to do is try to get this onto two pages because it's right now it's on three and uh, it looks like it's laid out pretty well um, but I don't want to uh, have a page turn in the studio even though they can fit uh, three uh, pieces of paper on their stand. It's not preferable. I don't want any pages falling off. Uh, they're going to have lots of scores, so I'm really trying to cut down on size here. So I'm going to select everything, and then I'm going to go to my plugin, format based on pages, wherever you've installed it. Um, where are you? There it is. Go to it, and a fun little dialog pops up. Uh, it only takes one parameter. That's how many pages you want to put this on. So I'm going to put it on two pages. I'm going to go ahead and click process, and <laughs> Uh, it, we actually had some pretty good results here. It's a little bit tighter, but um, this is a lot better for a studio session and gets the point across. The music is spaced out uh, perfectly fine. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of that plugin. Uh, if you would like to purchase it, or if you already own it and want to get in touch with me, um, the website where you can find it is um, the Music Transcriber. Dot com <laughs> slash plugin store and um, you'll find a lot of great plugins there uh, I'm not exactly sure which page on the store this is currently um, but go ahead check it out um, and those of you who have it try this this application I think you'll find it um, at least a good start for uh, forcing everything uh, into the uh, number of pages you want for the, the full score